never disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy, don't ever disrespect me. You are beautiful, big naked titty bitches. Don't fall out the sky, you know. Not in Coney Island. Only fucking mentally challenged fucking welfare bitches fall out the sky over here. You Welcome know. to outside with the will of them. We back in Coney Island. Fuck the tour. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. This is episode motherfucking 34. Good energy, good vibes, just good everything here. You heard? This is the only podcast that survived motherfucking Diddy. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, and we Facts. here. Facts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I'm saying? We was on Revolt two seasons, and we survived Diddy. And we here to tell you about it. You Surviving heard? Diddy. You heard? <laughs> uh, listen, shout out to Diddy. Or maybe not shout out. No, I don't know. No shout out. Listen, on my end, he ain't do nothing wrong. Hey, to me. hey, yo, hey, 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 yo. He didn't do anything wrong. I said end. it right. He ain't do nothing wrong to me. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, he stood you up. He end. never showed up that yeah, day. Yeah, he stood us up, yeah, bro. Facts. Which turned out to be a fucking good thing. Yeah, thanks for not showing up. Yeah, thanks, Diddy. Thanks fuck for not fucking here. ruining our podcast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, you know, like, they've been saying no Diddy lately. Instead yeah, of yeah, no homo, yeah. yo, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, yeah. no diddy. Yeah. 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 Chill, hey. chill. We got love. We got love for Diddy. We got love for Revolt, even though we not on Revolt. Like I told you, we still gonna keep this shit rolling, bro. No network could stop our shine. You heard? But I know a lot of people been asking for it every week. This is not how our fucking bank account is set up. You heard? Uh, there's no budget. Everything's coming out my own motherfucking pocket. So we're doing it every two weeks. But behind the scenes, we all fucking working at a thing. Until then, you can go on fucking Patreon. Patreon.com slash Gorilla Nems. And we fucking posting all types of fucking wild shit. But listen, yeah, crazy shit. let's start the show with the Monster Energy Drip Check. We're going to start it off right today. You heard? We're going to start with myself. Vintage, fuck your life, fit it. You know what I'm saying? Boom. We got the fuck your life sunglasses. Boom. We got the car hard jacket I bought from a crackhead for $20. Boom. We got the grateful clothing t-shirt. I am protected. We got the Mary sweatpants. And we got the New Balance Gore-Tex joints. You know what I'm saying? And that's my drippy. What you got on, Paz? I got the uh, seven Jordan classics. I got the Puerto Rican Jordan sweatpants. The Michael Jordans. The Michael Jordans, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got the grateful I am protected hoodie. Why are you wearing the same shit as me, bro? I got the hoodie, nigga. You got the Twin. t-shirt. Come on, bro. Come on. Girls. How <laughs> many? <laughs> Come on. And I got the uh Bitty Goose FYL collab. Hardest shit out. I bet. Jamaican Boykin, what's up? What you got? <laughs> yeah, man. You know, we got uh we got the silver ones, Air Force ones. I got this pink sweatsuit, no feelings season. Marco got me right here with the no feelings jacket. You heard, out here, just drippy. I like drip that check. jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah that jacket fire. definitely tough. Yeah, right. pay attention to I like the, the details. Big Marco, yeah. send send one for everybody on the pod. Yeah. Marco, yeah, we facts. need some more no feelings up on the pod. Yeah, yeah, send one to me. I'm a large. Live action. What you live got? action? Man, I'm keeping simple. I got my black chuckers on. I got the yellow mustard sweatsuit, and I got my Ooh. MM jacket. Yo, my son, them shits and my look like school glasses. shoes. Them shits look like school shoes, like What's you in that? Catholic school. Mine's? Yeah, man, who else's? Nah, my shits is tight. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? You got the Yeah, I, I got to keep them like that, just in case I got to kick your face and I don't want them to oh, fall off. Oh, oh, always resort to fathers. There's the, the positivity. Yeah. All oh, oh, shit, That's my it, bag, it. my yeah, bag. Man. I might have to shoe shine them now, man. Yo, yeah. let's get into motherfucking business, bro. This is the, it's a cool... 54 degrees in Coney Island. Somehow the sun never shines on this side of the block. It's true though. You know what I'm saying? And then the one episode we did over there was more, it was the Facts. coldest so it one. It feels like it's about 40 degrees over here. Word. You know what I'm saying? We ready for, we ready for the GFE, the girlfriend experience, 80 roses. You know what I'm saying? You ready for that? I don't know about that. Man, you ever had a GFE? No. No? no. You never. You don't know about the GFE? What's a GFE? I think I want one. Damn, Damn. GFE is on back page. When you go, that's the girlfriend oh, experience. Oh yes, girlfriend I've heard experience. about that. Hundred and twenty roses. 
120 virgins. You got 120 yeah. roses, you were? What? That's it. To give somebody? Yeah. <laughs> to, go, to go to like the movies with somebody. Or what? Something. Nah, I, I picked them shits out somebody's yard and shit like that. <laughs> nah, the, nah roses the roses is code uh, word for from, dollars. For money, so you don't know you're giving oh, them money. Oh, got it. I ain't doing all of that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. What's up, baby? What's up? Oh, what What's up? up? Big Unk. What up, Theo? Oh. Well, what happened, oh. bro? You, you got know, his knee braced right? over his jeans. <laughs> Yo, he got his knee braced over his jeans. He jeans. farted. He farted. He's out. Yup. We filming. He's still moving. Come on, Tessa. Ah, there ah, you go. Say. You got that, right? He said this he likes a lot. Right here. Two blind guys was fighting on the corner. One said, that shit you did to me the other day was some foul shit. I give you the bottle, and you had a bottle of water in the other hand, and you dropped that one. Bang! And he slapped the guy. He said, ah, oh, you motherfuckers want to fight. So they're swinging at each other, swinging, and there's a big police horse by the sidewalk. One of the blind dudes headed for the horse, swinging, and he slipped out of an out of him, hit his face with the horse of Johnson. Oh, you hit me with a rubber hose, are oh, you motherfucker? I'm going to get you now, you motherfucker. So he swung, and his hand went in the horse's ass. Take that, I got an eye out your socket, didn't I, you motherfucker? <laughs> he went to swing again, and the horse kicked him in the face. Oh, you some brass knuckles, ain't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. I love you, Theo. <laughs> I big yeah. He, he, used to, yeah. he used to tell me those stories growing up. Yeah, how big I got go the, the brace on the jeans over yeah, the jeans. Outside, outside of it. He's outside with Gorilla Nelly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need one of them shit, too. You had to say the story. No, I was saying when I when growing up, he would just always tell those little stories that had, like, you know, those little double meanings and like, I don't know, that's like some jail shit, right? That you learn in- Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's like those, those- Yo, stories. you know, I, I know him. When I was growing up, he used to be outside, right? And he had a dog. And guess what the dog name? You're doing that film, my father. My mouth. My mouth. Word, yeah, yeah, he had yeah. a dog named my mouth. I remember, mouth. I remember. Yeah, <laughs> yo, crazy. I used to be like, yo. My mouth, that's you. funny. Thank you. He was mad, yeah, it was mad crazy. Tito was mad crazy. Yo, you know what's funny? This is one my, wired shot. My uncle right there used to be mad gangster. Now, you know, time humbles us all. You know what I'm saying? That now, was you, Ivy. That was yeah. Ivy, man. Yeah, that was, that was, I. see, you know Ivory? I don't know if y'all follow me or anything, but Ivory, the chick that we always be fucking with and having over here, that was Tito's girl. She brought, that's why Ivory is like family. He used to bring her to Christmas, to Thanksgiving, everything, Ivory. Used to be in our crib, bro. Like a family member. Like a family member, bro. Tax, he used to be looking for Yo, you seen Ivory, bro? I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your dog tore his ACL, bro? My dog did tear his ACL. The my fuck fuck the fuck out of here. Well, listen. Yo, how? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Heard that? The ambulance just passed by and said, Big yeah. Mom, fuck okay. your life. So it's called the CCL. But ain't your dog kind of old? No, he's not old. He's six. Ain't your dog kind of fucking uh, Yeah, but he's six. He's 42 in, yeah. in, do, in, do, in human in years. years. Yo, oh, CB man. got the first autistic dog. My dog is not autistic. You're going to watch your mouth. <laughs> first off, he so he likes, to, ACL. he likes to jump. So on my roof, I He has ADHD. Too. He's not autistic. Same, like mother, like son. So basically, <laughs> he likes to like jump over. I have like a fence on my roof that like separates shit. So he likes, he just leaps over one day, like when he was younger, he just learned how to leap over it. So I guess he's just like, I don't know. I mean, six years of doing it, jumping over, you know, when you tear your ACL, it's just all about like, it's not even about impact. It's about Yo, they like probably lying to you to try to get a check from no, you. No, no, he was limping. He was yeah, limping right? right the back the fuck he probably out got, he probably got a bruised knee, yo. Fuck out of here. Now how watch this, the surgery? How much? Now watch this, how much? I told no. you. Oh, yeah, they cost more than a human. K. 5K, and Is I don't have insurance, so. Now you better take him home in that seat, homie. No, I, I amputate his fucking leg. No. Ah, it's probably cost more, 10,000. We gotta oh, cut his jump, leg off. He won't jump the fucking, he won't jump the barrier 10, no more. No, no, no more, no more leaping. Nah, but they, they, they like that. They'll tell you one thing. Like my dog needed two, two stitches and it was like 720. I said, yo, that shit don't even cost that much for me. Yeah. So the next time I was walking my dog, she stepped on a broken glass. That shit happened. That shit popped up in my head. I went in the crib, pulled out the first aid kit. Good. I just grabbed them. Up the same shit they what gave me, you know, to put it on their head what so they won't dog? mess with it. Huh? I got a little American Eskimo. White one. Aww. American Eskimo. I never yeah. even heard of that shit. 
Look it up. Niggas just be making dogs now. They really do be making dogs <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Fine. Yo, he's, it, it, remember Trey had a little black one like that? BB. Yeah, yeah it's fine. like that, but white. Yo, yeah. so Paz is on tour with us. Yeah. Chrissy, what the fuck you been doing last two months? I was, uh, I went, I just came back from LA. I was in Rolling Loud. It was mid. Yeah, you're a hype beast. Yeah, it was mid. Hype Why was beast. it mid? Wow. Um, I don't know. Well, I usually go out there with DJ Stacks. Shout out Stacks. I usually go with him, but he had another gig. So it was like my first time, like as a free bird, not like, you know. Anyway. That's why you came back with dreads? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got they some turned LA. you out out there? They yeah. turned you <laughs> <laughs> out. No, it was good. Like um, the first night we had Kanye. He only performed. Oh, we half. had Kanye. Like she's a part yeah, of Rolling yeah, Loud. Yeah, like, I am basically. I staffed uh, the New York Rolling Loud, so I feel like I'm famous. Yo, can we all come to the general consensus? Consensus that dreads make everyone look dirtier. That's what you think? You don't I think, think I so? look. I think that like I look pretty sexy right now. <laughs> I really do. I feel like I'm about to get like a bunch of DMs after this one. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. You guys yeah, like it? You guys test. liking the yeah, locks? Fine. Yes. No. You look like you had a rough night. So, like so do you not night. wash your hair? No. Today my friend just—it's basically twist. She just like kind of like yeah. I used to do that it, shit for my it. daughter. No flax. I can wash it. I wash my hair. I'm not dirty out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there was a police raid back in the day. Your man got caught stealing donuts. Yeah. <laughs> but they had us like on our knees in the lobby. So tell the us building. the what what happened? Where were you? Oh, we, was, I I up. Up. we was in the building hustling or whatever. School and, right. and the police out. rushed the building and had us all on our knees like this. And they searched everybody in the, in the crib? In, in the lobby of in the, the building. Of okay. a building. And the cop said, yo, come here. But I'm i I'm right next to him. He told the other cop, he said, look. He said, what are you, a fucking sneak thief? <laughs> He had a cinnamon donut. You know, like in the enemy, they don't sell those by themselves. <laughs> he said, what are you stealing from somebody's house? Lock the door and you took a donut? <laughs> Facts. They caught him, snatched him up. What, like a spare donut in his pocket? He just took the donut and probably put it in his pocket and left. <laughs> <laughs> and they bagged him. You want to shout him out? My man Humvee. <laughs> <laughs> He's also the same guy that sang, what more can I say? On, on Jay Z song. What? Yeah, oh, fine. he ratted on you? No, he's the one that had the donut in his pocket. Wow. He stole a loose donut from that's somebody. When, that's when Kurt said to um to the cops, was like, you just we just want guns. Tell us if you got anything. And he whispered, I got crack in my pocket. I couldn't believe it. The cop said, What? He said, I got crack in my pocket. He said, You going down. <laughs> and the, the cop went in his pocket. My nigga was one crack, bro. It wasn't even like a bomb. Yeah, oh, he probably was like, Oh, you smoking or you just bought <laughs> Nah, they locked him up. You should have just kept his fucking mouth shut. Do your job. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> yeah, that's a true story. I got caught one time in Pathmore Fop stealing when I was young. What you was stealing? Remember the hostess cakes? <laughs> the, like the fruit pies and shit? This was, I was young. So we, they try to stop us at the door. I shook them. Ran out the door. So they had like a fake DT car. So we was walking down Cropsy like where the mechanic spots is. Yeah. They pulled in with the car. Jumped out. I jumped over the car, started running. They bagged my man. So they started chasing me in the car. I ran down 19th Street. So I'm walking like where the liquor store is on 22nd. So I see the car coming. And my man was like, he right there. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Yo, they chased me. I started running. Yo, homeboy dove on me for hostess cakes. He dove on me. <laughs> <laughs> caught me and shit. So we in the car, I looked at my man. I said, damn, bro, you, I seen you pointing, saying there he go right there. He was like, nah, nah, that damn. wasn't me. I said, I seen you. I ain't gonna say no names or nothing. But I was like, damn, yo. Mm -hmm. But we didn't, nothing happened. His moms came to Pathmark and picked us up and beat us. Cause you know, back then, you're like your people, like other Yeah, people, your friend's mother could hit yeah, you. They yeah, could, but she came to pick us up from Pathmark and she beat us and shit like that. I was like, damn, I ain't You ever hit your kids? Nah, no. I shook him one time, and after that, I ain't never hit him no more because he peed on himself. <laughs> <laughs> I, threw, I threw my son on the bed. I told him, yo, shut up, go to sleep. And I threw him from far, though. And I How guess- How old was he? He was probably like six. All right. And he was like, Laid down. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but he always he remember that shit. He like, yo, remember you threw me that day? Damn. <laughs> I never hit this kid his whole life. These kids are soft, bro. I used to get hit with the belt. I, I, start, I started talking stairs. to my son again. Damn. 
What's he say? You have to hold down stairs. Yeah, when I came out the closet, it was a wrap. Boom. Came out the closet. This is Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, not, not literally. <laughs> not Verbally. Figuratively, yeah. Oh, he told you it was gay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She kicked you down the stairs? It, it was it was like things that led up to it, but yeah, I, I got No like, way. No way. Yo, Bible, seriously. Like, my, I had glasses on, too, because I wore contacts, so I had glasses. Wait, 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 wait. We got to face top chachi right yeah, 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 yeah. No, listen. No, 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 no. We let's, let's, that set that let's, let's set that up. Let's tell better. that story. Yeah. Let's tell that story. So you, how old are you? Oh, uh, I was about 18. Like oh, damn, that young? 18, yeah. That young? Yeah. So what happened? Where was this? Staten Island? This is in Staten Island, and I had a girl over that I was was dating, right? But like my mom knew, but she didn't want it in her face. Yeah, yeah. But I had a girl she over, was... and she knew, but she just as long as I'm not all lovey dovey in her yeah, face, yeah, yeah. she don't give a fuck. So um, something happened at one point. You know, my mother and I we used to like butt heads all the time. You know, so we got into like a little argument, and you know, this girl I guess is not used to. My mom is very loud crazy yeah, yeah. aggressive and stuff so she was <laughs> her scared. mom my aunt plays women's football she's a tomboyish very but she's rough rough yeah, tough. she's very rough but only likes men you know what i'm saying she's not a tom she's a tomboy but she's she's not gay men. like me yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah and she don't play she's, yeah exactly. she's single and straight guys anyway um but yeah so so basically she I guess she saw me on the couch, like kind of like whatever, and she was saying about how not to disrespect her house and whatnot. I got loud with her. She got in my face, and basically, like I was by the stairs, uh, and she was just in my face, and she kind of just mushed me. I had glasses on, like the glasses flew down the stairs. I flew down the stairs, <laughs> and then the girl, and then the girl winds up calling the cops. No, she, she, was some, she was just like some like. You know, stand on white girl. Yeah, yeah. You know, never seen this type of shit before. Yeah, yeah. This is just another Wednesday. That's, 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 this is just another Wednesday. That's, 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 that's a bank shit. That's this is another Wednesday for me. Yo, they robbing. They robbing somebody. Get hit yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, and she put her hands on you. Yeah, she's like, yeah. and then whatever. So she wound up leaving. I was like, you need to just go. Yeah, facts. Cops Get the came. Fuck out of here. My stepfather, who was alive at the time, came and he just like sent them away. And the cops went away, but what if I was getting beat? Facts. You know, they were just like, just by my. Did you get fucked up from going down the stairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not bad, not bad, but it was, it wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> that shit wasn't fun. But I'll never forget that shit. Like, wow. Kick me down the stairs. Kick me down the stairs, <laughs> like Sparta type shit. Yeah, but you respect that crib after that, though. I, I moved the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> I was even, out. That's even. I moved better. right next door, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna still know. bother you, but from next door. Yeah, from next door. You can't tell me what to do from over here. Yo, what about from over here now? You you had an encounter with an autistic stripper? Oh yes. <laughs> Listen, so okay, so what during strip, what strip club? No, so this was in Portland, Oregon, because you guys were talking about when you guys, because you guys were on tour and you were in Portland. You went so to we went to Portland. That's where the strip club. So what we What's found up, out right. is that yeah, brother, yeah. there's the most strip clubs are in Portland. There's over 200 strip clubs in yeah, Portland. Facts. That's like the home. Um, That's like the hub. Crazy. That's like the hub. Yeah. yeah, facts. So basically, so this is during the pandemic. And during the pandemic, right, there's nothing to do. But the strip clubs are still open. Oh, oh yeah, get out of here. Get out of here dude. What up? I love that fucking bomber. So basically, the strip clubs, so during the pandemic, the only thing that's open is like strip clubs. You go to strip clubs, but they were outdoor. So they built these like wooden stages, <laughs> like like with dead ass, poles. like wooden with strip poles outside. Man, so me and my boy, we had some like work out there to do, right? So we went out there. We're like, oh, let's go to the strip club. So we just like frequent this one <laughs> strip club with the wooden fucking stage and shit. It was getting splintered and in was, their ass. <laughs> exactly. So there was this one girl who was mad cute. So we, you know, tried to get her back to come back. Like, oh, let's bring them back to the Airbnb and whatnot. So we had these two girls, but there was this one other girl that was friends with the, the girl that was bad. And she was like, I don't know, like the looks, like whatever. She was just normal looking. And again, normal looking. Normal looking like, <laughs> That's bad. well, I know that sounds fucked she up. She's regular. She's just a regular. She blended in well. Like mid, she blended mid in well. I wouldn't have tipped her, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but basically, so they both come back. And at this time, like, I wasn't really, really like aware. Cause you know how that show like Love on the Spectrum and you have like yeah. these autistic. So like for me, Growing up, I always thought like autistic, like severely, like you know, nonverbal, yeah, 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 all, all this other stuff. So when I had this girl come over and we're just like talking, it was like me, my boy, and the two girls, and you know, we're just talking, playing Uno, 
drinking. <laughs> and she was just like, yeah, yeah, I'm autistic. And I'm just like, okay. I mean, I think that was the most autistic thing about her, the fact that she just kept parading the fact like that she was <laughs> autistic. And I, I didn't see really anything it was like a autistic. Badge of honor of her? Yeah, I think it was, it was like that was her pride and yeah, joy. Yeah. Yeah, I pride. think, but she whooped our asses in Uno like nobody yeah. could win. So maybe that was like the superpower. I'm a, I'm autistic. I'm a Uno champion. Yeah, you just Uno. didn't know. Yeah. I count cards. Speaking I'm of strip autistic. clubs, we picked up bags in on the tour: Boston, uh, Phoenix. Texas. One thing I noticed about Texas is that there was not. See, the other night I was in Starlets. Every girl in there fake. got a BBL. Mm. Got the fake ass, mm. fake tits, whatever. Houston, not one female had a BBL or fake ass or ass injections. None of that. They were straight grass fed. Fat <laughs> ass. That's a non fact. Non GMO. Yo, non GMO. Non GMO. Non -GMO. Organic. No artificial flavors. Yeah, yo, it wasn't. They wasn't. They, they didn't get them with the, yo, with not the testosterone. One, not one. Not and I was one. like, look at this. Because me, you could ask probably 90% of men, would they rather BBL or natural? And 90% will say natural. Yeah. But you ask women, yeah, you do see they that? think what a man wants? And they natural say that. BBL, they they'll BBL. say BBL. Fact. Yeah, Scoop I seen that poll. There's nothing, nothing that's attractive to me about a BBL. Like the asses are hard, they look disproportionate. Fake tits is fake tits, whatever. I'm not yeah. even a fan of fake tits. I'd rather a chick with a normal body. I'll take a chick with a fuck with small tits. And a deep, like a little ass, but a pretty face over a BBL any day. Any day, bro. But women think it's, what do you prefer? I like natural. Natural? I like natural facts. I don't like Chrissy? that. Chrissy? I like natural, but I would I would still uh, fuck with a girl that had like yeah, of a, course. a big body. <laughs> I'm not going to discriminate. Like, I've smashed, I've yeah, smashed yeah. females that yeah. have the BBL. It's always, it For just don't feel obvious. right. Not that it, it feels right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but. Yeah. It's always hey. like, it's disproportionate. <laughs> yeah. It looks good in fucking clothes. Mm -hmm. You take that shit out the clothes, it looks weird. Yeah. It feels weird. <coughs> it's like a cartoon. What about you? It's a Live weird surgery. Nah, I'm good, man. I pat you. You know, we've been to spots before. You be like, yeah, I'd be like, yo, if it's fake, don't come near me. Yeah. Facts. You know what I mean? Look, if it ain't real, I don't want it. Facts. The other night, we went to two strip clubs. We went to, uh, had a business dinner in, uh, in Westchester, so that's right next to Connecticut, Stanford, Connecticut. So we went to Gallery Strip Club in, in Stanford, which the majority of the females were natural. I like that type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? I throw the bread on them all day, have fun with them. Then we went to Starlet's after, and it was the total opposite. And Starlet's is more, that's like the major league of strip clubs in New York, when people come from out of New yeah. York. Like they celebrities go to, and yeah, they yeah, go to, yeah, they, they go to Starlet's. Starlet's. But I don't like going there. Not, the vibe is always fire. It's always a good time. It's always popping, mad popping people in there, you know. But the, as far as the female wise, it's just like, bro, every single one of them looks exactly the same. Exactly. Their ass looks the same. Their tits look the uh, same. Like they all went to the same and doctor. And their face starts looking the same. Yeah, no, no, they start looking weird, right? Like a cat or some shit. I don't know. They playing with their face. Well, too, yeah, because right? you're getting, you're getting like that like threading the, thing that where you kind of like, they I mean, got they, the they love club. it. Like exactly. Man, they be like, yo, who you went to? Oh, Dr. Zismore. All right, here. Take his <laughs> Dr. Zismore. Dr. Zismore. Dr. Zismore. Wait, wasn't that someone? That's, 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 that's the acne guy. That's yeah, the yeah, pimple, yeah. pimple doctor. Nah, Thank you, know, you Dr. Saying. Zismore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Zismore. That's how they be coming back with the acne and all that. Yo, Posh was lit out there on tour, bro. Everywhere we went, people were noticing him, bro. Yeah, fact. They noticed you today? Yeah, that's a fact. Look, he got hype. <laughs> they did, <laughs> people, people love Posh. I'm telling today? you. I went to uh, Sanitation. You giving the whole address? Fuck it, that's where it was at. That's where I went. You asked me where so I went. So you get your social security card for it, right? Yeah, yeah, but then I ain't go there. I went to the seventh floor. And uh, <laughs> there's a cop in the front because Trump was there today. So there's mad police there. So I'm like, yo, I see a line, like a crazy line. And it's a sergeant there, like a lieutenant, white shirt with a regular cop. And I go up to him, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get to the, he's like, where well, you getting a social security card? I said, nah, I gotta go to the seventh floor see this lady or whatever for sanitation, he said, I know you, you are, you with NIMS, right? I was like, yeah, <laughs> pack. And he took the cop 
to escort me, my nigga, to the seventh floor. Facts. You felt wow. big? Wow, you got your own security? Yeah. Something would have popped Fire. off that cop with a ring. I thought I had the ratchet on me. Y'all firing me? Boom! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to him. I don't even remember his name, Dito. Damn. Yeah, what up, my guy? Shout him out. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. See what I be doing for your life, kid? Come on, son. This nigga's crazy. He got police escort. Yeah, in fact, Damn, I still had to you take, on the map. I still had to take the train home, though. Damn. 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 I haven't taken the train in like. I took it today. Five, six years. I haven't took the train in probably 15 years. Yeah. It's been I a did. minute. I Matter of fact, I didn't. Because that time when I had my car, EJ dropped me off. And you walked of, across the Williamsburg yeah, Bridge? And, and, yeah, oh, I walked yeah, from Mellow's building. I walked from Mello's building all the way home. Yo, shouts to Mello. He said and shout nene, him out. And then Mello followed uh, Paz on tour into the bathroom to ask him if he could have his brisket in yeah. Texas. Yeah. No, in Idaho. Idaho, facts. What you think you held just zipping my me. brisket? Nah, 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 I was walking into the door. He said, yo, I heard it like a lot of like, He was like, yo. You done with that brisket? I was like, God, nigga, you gotta have it. Yo, Melo cleans the, everybody's plate. Facts. On tour. Plate, you like, yo, you done with that? You done with that? Well, you He'll know, have I'm, a big ass meal. Yeah. And still. But he know I don't eat. I don't <laughs> eat everything. He can eat, though. I, I don't eat everything. Nah, so Melo can eat. He be waiting. Facts. Every waffle. He took every nah, Melo can eat, son. Because yeah. when we went to the breakfast spot, as soon as Nim said, yo, I'm going to pay for all of this, he was like, yo, give me another wild food. <laughs> right? He just yeah, started, yeah. I said, yo. He needs the... all that fuel. Yo, he had like four plates on his side. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I mean, he works out. Yo, that shit, we started working out la last week. All week, I've been fucked up, bro. Yeah. Sore, sore, like fucking ridiculous. Me you too. Ain't been I, doing it. I went back to therapy. They even cooking me in there. Facts. Where are you going next? Canada. You coming? I'm out. Let's go. What part? I don't know. Let's go. What was the best part of the tour? Yo, one, no, yo, the this spots is the one. that was fire, yo, Idaho Falls, we didn't expect. We get into the club, I go on stage, because you know, I get in, I'm chilling in the backstage, and I don't see what's going on outside or nothing. I come out, I go on stage, there's a little eight year old girl, bro, front row. I said, yo, how? Hold up, stop the music. <laughs> What the fuck is this little kid doing in the club? They brought her on stage. She knew the words. She knew, yo, it was amazing, bro. It was. Yeah, facts. And she was beasting to get something signed by you. Facts. Wow. She was really a I fan, though. It would have been so crazy if they had said she owns the club. What the, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the mother was there with her. It was, it was cool. Yeah, there, that's Idaho good. Falls. That's nice, though. There was Idaho Falls. I like L.A. Fun. for me. L.A. It wasn't really L.A., though. It was Orange County. Yeah, Orange County. Orange yeah. County. Yeah, that's not L.A. Was fire. That it's was just fire. Cali. Yeah, yo, because Cali, on the tour, like, there's some places you go where you're like, yo, this is going to be a good show, and it winds up, eh, not all that. The energy's just not there. There's some places that you go and you're like, ah, this is going to be kind of whack, and it blows your mind, pause, you know what I'm saying? What, what yeah. spot did you expect more from that you were like, what the fuck? Definitely San Fran. But a lot of these spots, man, listen, this was our first tour, so mm -hmm. Mex didn't know. We're going off the promoters. They're putting us, I started noticing, they're starting to put us all in spots that are not in the main cities. They're like an hour away. So we didn't do Boston. We did Lowell, Massachusetts. We didn't do San Fran. We did Brentwood. We didn't do LA. We did Orange County. So I'm like, bro, oh, why are these? So you live and you learn. So yeah. now we know for the next tour. Denver, super fire. Yeah, yeah facts. Denver was super fire. Uh, Portland, Beaverton, Oregon. Yo, Portland was such a letdown. Yeah, yeah. facts. That, that, Portland. That's we wasn't in Beaverton. We went to Beaverton for the Nike. Thing. We went to the Nike campus, but yeah. the show was in Portland. Did you notice yeah. in Portland, Trash. every every single establishment, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. I, when I was out there, I was the darkest person there. But Black Lives Matter, I felt like it was a parade for they me. They got no police. There was like, there was like rainbow flags Yo, they were and shooting heroin Black Lives right, Matter Right at the everywhere. bus stop. The yeah, but that shit heroin. got like the most coats. Yeah, because they're fucking easily brainwashed out there. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, out of everywhere we went, that's like one of the biggest shitholes. But they got good food. There was that? certain places that I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm never coming back here. <laughs> Damn, Dito, that was yo, one of them. Fucking New Mexico, bro. Everywhere we went, had a massage parlor every block. A rubbing tug. Place. Yeah, a rubbing tug. 
Because we passed, Damn. everything's closed. It's 11 at night, everything closed. The only thing's open. Every block we pass has a massage parlor, parlor that's open. You're like, yo, this is definitely like their rubber version tug. of like red this light. This is district. like the fucking <laughs> rub and tug capital of fucking America. Hobbs, New Mexico. Hobbs, bro. New Mexico. Shout out to the kid that wanted my autograph. And I was like, nah, limbs will be out in the middle. He was like, no, no, I want your autograph. I was like, wow, say that. Yo, El Paso, yeah. Texas was fire. The energy. They was they was that's one of the dopest spots we that went to. That was the to. border town? Yeah. It was right on the border of Mexico. Like from our hotel, you could see Mexico. That's crazy. Like, that's what the Flores. tattoo guy was like, yo, you tired, bro? To me. He said, I got that pulé for you if you want to wake up. I was like, this is the bill. Like, nah, I'm good, bro. Thanks. <laughs> that shit made me want to still get high. I was like, shit. That, that's probably uncut, raw from right. Juarez. He looked cra oh, no. look crazy, too. You need to pick me up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good, supply. Papa. Let's yeah, just bring me fix? back to my days when I was getting high, bro. All right, relax. Yo, listen. You know, sometimes I tend to forget because I've been living so long like this, winning, that I forget how it was. I remember speaking of cocaine. There was this. Look, there was... I was addicted, right, to mad drugs. I didn't smoke crack, I didn't shoot needles, but dope, I was sniffing cocaine. So I remember one night I was on, we was, I was getting high all night, <laughs> ran out of money. There right? we go, we going off the rails, Facts. let's go. Ran out of money, yeah. boom. So I'm going, I'm just walking down Surf Avenue right here. Like, yo, I gotta rob somebody because I need, <laughs> I need this next one. Ain't nobody over there. <laughs> so it's dead. Hold up, I get to like 23rd. See this big, tall, white. He's I'm 6'4. So to be taller than me, you gotta be tall. Yeah, fact. He was he had to be like 6'7, white dude, but he was stumbling like. You put, I'm like, you put oh, him I'm gonna get him. You I'm put gonna him get up. him. So I walk, he goes perfect, right up the cut block on 23rd towards the beach. Oh my god. He's oh, going the wraparound that used yeah, to be there. Wow. You know that's I'm like, yeah, oh, this can't be more perfect. Yeah, yeah right, dead right. lame. I go up to him, I say, yo, homie. Yo, yo, he turns around, yeah, he's stumbling. Yo, yo, you want, you want, I don't know what I said. Yo, you want Coke or you want you want a drink or whatever. Got his attention right before he's opening his door. I might have said Coke or something. He goes in, bro, had a stash like this. Pulled it out. I rock him. Boom. <laughs> Take his shit. Boom. <laughs> Little, oh, what up? Right. Yo, so I take his shit. Now I start running up 23rd. Bro, he must have got right back up. He starts chasing me. He caught up to me. Man, you slow as shit. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so fast. Yo. But you were skinny then. I was skinny. Yo, I don't know what he, he must have. Say I'm running and he's running by. He must have just leaped. Landed on my neck with one of these. Oh, caught me like oh, this. He me, Jimmy Headlock. Yeah, he caught me. <laughs> right? He, he, he just fell <laughs> back with me, headlock. Cause I, bro, I took a walk, like, nice stash oh, from him, right? Mac you? Yo, he caught me, I'm going back. I'm like, fuck, I'm not giving this bread up though. I'm not, this is my get high for the night. It was a nice, I was like, yo, this is a nice one. Like how much? Probably like seven, eight hundred. Damn, that's a good so lick. So I'm like, this is a nice one, right? That's a good lick right now. I'm like, yo, I'm not, <laughs> I'm right not now. giving this. Bro, I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm, I, I tried to, bro, he, I was, a, I was like this close to going out. Don't fix it, what happened? Nah, I was this close to going out. Yeah, yeah. I got out of it, I, I turn around, I grab his neck, and I'm just boom, 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 take his shit, I get up, leave me alone. Fuck, <laughs> I fucking just jet it. Still had the money, got away. I must have knocked him out when I put his head on the ground. Boom, boom. And I got away and I got I, lovely for the rest of the night. Damn. Scott free. Never saw that guy again. We could clap it up for that? Clap it up for clap that. Clap it up for that. Why not? We're Here allowed we to go. clap up yo, for that? Clap it up? Yo, that, that's an open case right now. Nah, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. He's He's done. Done. Statue of limitations is up. Uh, right. And oh, that's he, was for the robbery. Himself. he was defending himself. They changed it. Defending himself after, 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 yeah. after, 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 after the fact. Yo, imagine. <laughs> yo, what year was it? 1996. He yeah, almost still put him open. out. He almost, <laughs> yeah, he almost put him out. He almost put him out with the Hemi Nah, Indiana. he almost caught me, bro. I almost was, I almost was gone. Yeah. He, he, he didn't know gotten. how to put you to sleep. Nah, he had me. All I right. was close. Right I was close to him. <laughs> yeah, nah, I was I was this close to going out cold. Night, night. <laughs> he could have did anything to me. You'd have woke up with a 
that bunk in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's how life is, bro. And then you look back and you're like, there was so many nights like that that you gotta, I gotta be here for a reason. Cause there was nights like that with robberies. There was nights like that running from the police. There was nights. It's just, it's, it's. There's a reason that I'm here. It is you know what facts. I'm saying? Just like everybody else, bro. You caught fucking your shit. There's a reason you're here. Chrissy, mad DWIs, mad fucking car mad, crashes, mad, mad lesbian experiences, dildos this long that could have killed her. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And She's look at me now. Here. I'm still right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what drunk we said? <laughs> nah, that was you saying that. What'd you say? <laughs> say it. Lesbians be having a fake dick and when the girl sucks it, they be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get no, it. No, you're not, you're not lying. Oh, yeah. Get it. Wait. Like they can feel it. Wait. Oh, oh yeah. You to... <laughs> yeah, bitch. You never got turned on. You never got turned on by visuals. Nah. No. Never. So when you were watching porn in a porn magazine, you didn't get turned on by that. Yeah, but. Oh yeah, but. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a sound kind of guy. Okay. I'm not a visual guy. <laughs> okay, so visual. They could be visuals and sounds. Without feeling it, you can still get turned don't on. Be, don't be defensive. I'm not getting defensive. I'm just saying. It was a joke. I'm getting defensive. <laughs> Amongst friends, bro. I'm sorry. Listen. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's that like, plastic. That's like me fucking the pocket pussy. It's not cheap plastic, OK? Oh, yeah. It's not cheap plastic. No. What type of plastic nice is it? Nice silicone, you know, real feeling. <laughs> No, no? Ain't, ain't no real feeling. Get y'all the, the fuck plastics out of here. be letting no, no, off mad girl. chemicals, yo. <laughs> Damn. 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 The plastic, that's why we don't burn. Damn. Damn. The I knew that silicone had chemicals. <laughs> mad chemicals in her pussy. <laughs> and I had it all in my mouth. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, yo. Yo. Oh, no ditty. <laughs> no ditty. No, no ditty. Good, Mello. All right. I can't. Looking good, brother. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Listen, no, no complaints from both sides. That's all I'm gonna say. You ever use the dildo live action? Nah, fuck, I'm gonna use a dildo <laughs> for, bro. <laughs> that ain't even make sense. No. <laughs> I don't know. You ever use a dildo? I don't know. Oh, you don't never know. used a dildo in a woman? Nah, never. You never brought out a toy? Me neither. I don't need no toys. That's what you guys say, you don't need no toys. I don't. But, listen. I don't miss. Nah, speak. That's what we're here for. No, I'm This is what I was talking about. <laughs> We gotta talk about shit, that shit like this. And if it's too vulgar, we'll cut it the fuck, fuck out. Vulgar, we gotta be vulgar out here. Fuck, man. You get your ass eaten? No. We already lying. talked about this. Yeah, we did. So why you wanna ask me again? Type of weird shit you want? I took, I took a, I took a lick or two in my ass. That's you, bro. It's only gay if you bend over, or. What? Yeah, it's only gay if you Nah, you go like that. Yeah, you gotta go like that. Lift that's up a little. When she's on the balls, you just uh, lift up a little. Yeah, get a little of that, mommy. Cut. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, Yo. see? She knew. She's smiling. <laughs> that's the end thing now for the girls. Sukiyana, she be talking about eating ooh, ass. Ooh. That's the end thing. Girls want to eat other, ass. What's the other one? Pegging. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Pegging. That's next. Nah. Yeah, that's and next. And they put the tongue. That's the, that's the, the gateway the, to the pegging. Little get they gonna, <laughs> the little who get they gonna follow. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> One or two licks. It's not an all, all day affair. It's like, oh, you on the nuts? Yeah, give a little lick. Deep, deep. All right, go back, go back. <laughs> go back. That's it. Deep, deep. Pew, pew. And it's more about, it's not about the feeling. It's more about the, the degradation. Wow. <laughs> that's not So you want to shit on a bitch? Yeah. Look out of here. You never pissed on him? Nah, man. No? No. What type of fucking prudes I got on this fucking I mean, panel, maybe like bro? in the shower. In the shower. Yeah, in the shower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shower. Nah, but you know I like I'm, to do in the shower? Nah, my man had a girl. Big set. And, and he cut her off because she wanted him to piss in her face. No, so this is what I do in the shower. You start with the pissing on the feet, but then you lift it up <laughs> and you try to shoot it on their face. You lift the dick up. And let Hold the piss it. out. Phew, phew. See if you can hit their face. They're like, stop, stop. Oh, stop. Oh. You gotta push, you gotta push, yeah, you right? Gotta, you gotta push. You gotta push. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta put yeah. that yeah. shit in the yeah. headlock she like did. I do had you. Get you back. Nah, what you gonna yeah, do? Piss on my pinky toes? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That. Unless she goes, eh, <laughs> Nah, unless you say, yo, put it in the <laughs> 
Some she, some girls know how to pee standing up. There's a way. She pees standing Yo, up. Yo, is squirting yeah. piss? No, squirting has a little piss, but it's not all piss. I know it's not all piss, but yeah. it's a pissy mess. It's a little <laughs> bit of piss. There's definitely a little bit of piss. You ever made a girl squirt, Hubert? I don't know about it, what that. I don't know. Nah, nah. Hubert's old water school. Splashes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Live yeah. action is old school. Not at old it. school. What you mean? I, I made her come. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. That nah, water. Nah, if it squirts, nah, 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 you ain't yeah, pissing squirt, on me, nah, my G. Nah, nah. You're not Change doing the sheets, all of that. Grow up. Nah. Yeah, bro, that's it. Yeah. Say change the sheets, grow up. You nah, right? I ain't got nothing to do with that. I sleep on the same sheets. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> you like? Yo, if a girl, if a, if a woman, if a woman first time is coming through, she gets there. Oh, I'm on my period. You gonna beat? Nah. Nah. What? What? <laughs> bro, what you're... type of prudes do I got on this? Yeah, I don't want to have a bloody mess what? all over the place. It, why are you Chris, making it you? plural? You? I have before. No, have. Today. If a girl right comes now, on and says, yo, I'm on, bad, my day. I'm on my first day. I'm on my first day. You don't care day? anyway Heavy. because it's going on plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've had that You're situation be before. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't never had the feeling of raw. They're going to be like, carry blood <laughs> all <laughs> over. I've had. It's like an execution. <laughs> <laughs> I've had raw blood smooth? all over. Yeah, uh, I thought that was smooth. <laughs> me too. Yo, Yo, you want me DJ? Vampire <laughs> Diaries. <coughs> so you wouldn't? Nah, I wouldn't eat it out of bitch on a period though. What? Even though you're just getting the clit, you think, so you're not you blood. It. It's not blood. Oh, yeah. you have done it before. I have not. That's like a good explanation. No, I have, no you know what girls so like to do? So you don't run, like you a, don't run red lights. I run red lights all no, the no, time. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go down. back. Let's go back. Go back. But you don't run it red lights. Man, we can't go Mom, back. My, no, yeah. Eating out? No way. Not on red lights. No way. I'm not yeah. eating red lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just running. I'm not eating them. I'm running. I'm not eating them. He gave me some. Nah, you know what? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what the girls like to do? Oh, you. You damaged my shit, so you made, you made me bleed. Nah, the, fuck out of here, bitch. You just ain't tell me it was your period. Stop it. The girl told me that. Yeah, that's what made me think of it. He said, nah, that's what she said. I said, my nigga, she lying. <laughs> he said, it was dark. When I turned on the light, it was so mad blood. She said, because you was killing it, I thought. <laughs> he said, I low-key, I low-key was killing it. <laughs> that's a scumbag, that girl. Speaking of scumbags, Scumbag. Scumbag of the week. Let me start, man. We spoke about it on the Patreon, but the more I think about, about it, the more I get angry about it. And I want to shout this person out on the real podcast and not just the Patreon. My scumbag of the week is New Vegas Films. Oh. Wow. Who we, who we kicked off of the tour. We kicked them off of the disrespect tour. And... He kind of ruined the whole Ambience, footage yeah. of the oh, tour. Like he was right. supposed to document everything on the tour, and uh, he thought we were just hanging out. And and he was getting paid to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so facts. he is the scumbag of the week, a hundred percent. Who you mm. got, Paz? Wait, can I ask uh, you a question yeah, about yeah. about Vegas? Yeah. Yep. So he's exiled. He's, he's done. He's exiled. Will I'll Are never work with him again? All that footage that he took for tour, did no, he give that, that to you? We got okay, that. Okay. Yeah, he was paid, paid for, for those that. services, right? Yeah, yeah, facts. So you kind of services you guys, rendered. So what? You guys really left him in a different state? Atlanta. He <laughs> he, exi he exiled himself for the simple fact that he already wasn't speaking to us. But by the time we got to Georgia. I just let everybody get go loose on him. Pause. You know what I'm saying? No diddy. No diddy. So I just was like, yo, go loose on him. Nobody give him weed. Everybody could joke on him nonstop. Yeah. And he couldn't take it. I went, I went, I ain't gonna lie, I went. Pass uh, went extra hard on him. Fact. And he just walked out of the van in Georgia thinking we were gonna be like little, oh, go get him, make sure he's good. And I said, come on, let's go. We got North Carolina next. And just left his ass right in the middle of fucking Georgia. And, yeah. he's and that's it. You guys have no that's contact. It. I haven't spoke to him since. I haven't spoken to him. I have Max reach out. Yo, get that footage. Make sure we get that footage. Yo, Business. listen. Actually, I put a group text. Me, Max, and him. And mm. I was like, Yo, homie, send that footage by Monday. And by Monday, he sent the footage. And that's it. There you go. And uh, you know, that's it. That's no more dealings with him. No more business. That's it. Exiled. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta set that you boundary. You had a golden opportunity. Yeah, I joke, I laugh, I do all of that. Yeah. But I handle business. Yeah. I'm taking you on tour. It's to handle business. You know what I'm saying? He thought he was Simple just, just uh, going on tour, he chilling. He thought he was chilling with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah facts. Too many times though. 
That's my scumbag of the week. Right. Scumbag. scumbag! How'd you fumble that bag? <laughs> Bo. 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 Uh, who you got, Poss? I got two scumbags. But I'm gonna do the first you one. You two? Yeah, I'm gonna do the I'm first gonna do one. I'm gonna do two then two. It's the kid that stabbed the girl. Oh, scumbag. And killed her and stabbed the sister also for not getting the phone number. He didn't want to, she didn't want to talk to him. getting rejected. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, I blame Explain that. Explain what happened to people that's not in New York. A, a guy yeah. was on the train trying to interact Look. with a girl and she she uh, rebuffed him, like, get out of here. She was with her sister and he stabbed her and stabbed the sister because she didn't want to talk to him. And uh, that's the way he New York her. is going. The way we we showing these kids like that's cool or whatever, that's corny as shit. And I, that's my scumbag, number one. Scumbag! scumbag. And number two is... I'm sorry, did I walk past no, 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 not you, not you. Nothing to do with you. Oh, okay. Nah, <laughs> she could have been a scumbag. But uh, my she second one is... Uh, though, she said, oh, that was... Yeah. Saquon Barkley, you're the fucking scumbag for joining oh, yeah, the Eagles. Saquon Barkley, you're and, a piece uh, of I'll shit. And I'll never fucking forgive him for that. We're the burning his jerseys. Here. We're Barkley. burning Saquon Barkley jerseys yeah, all day fact. out That's here. my scumbags right there, two of them. Y'all weren't going to do anything I can't get a speaking of with or without them. Anyway. Scumbag! You know the Giants? At least we know we just have no hope next year. It's unlike the Jets, where they think Aaron they're going to Aaron Rodgers, baby, he's coming Rogers. back. Let's go. They're still going to be shit. He's going to come back nah, harder, I don't just know. like my they're, dog. They're going to be better than Yo, the Giants. Yo, are you a Giant fan or a Jet fan? I'm a New York nah, fan. He's right, about you to pick one. I'm a Giant fan. Right, so I don't want to hear Damn. no Jet good talk. Nah, you can't do the that, Pops. You can't shit on the Jet. That's I'm shit. not like that, bro. It's New York. I'm not a Yankee hater, but I'm a Mets fan. That's the way I rock. I'm not a Mets. But I'm all the way Knicks sure. through and through. And the Knicks, they doing good, so I'm going to be happy watching them now. You know what I'm saying? See, the nice. Knicks is good, but the owner, he's a scumbag. Scumbag. Don't let him, you scumbag. Oh, my God. I'm trying yeah, to get CB. there. I'm trying to get there, Dolan. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> my scumbag of the week, first off, I don't want anybody to judge me, but I booked a flight to LA. I always fly JetBlue. I, for some odd reason, I was like, I'll just buy my, my return flight later. I didn't know how long I wanted to stay. Wound up last minute buying a flight, had to go with Spirit, right? Oh, wait, hell listen, no. listen. So, Spirit Airlines, they're always scumbags, but you guys are super duper scumbags of the week. They're scammers. What they're running is a whole scam. They're scam bags. Why? Basically, <laughs> okay, so basically. Scam bags. Scam bags. I showed up about 45 minutes to, to board my flight, before my flight takes off about 45 minutes before. I go to check in. First off, I go to check in. I have to check in two bags, a carry-on and a regular check-in. $178 That's for how they two get bags. You. Well, okay, whatever, right? Might as well That's spend already a the rest scam. On, yeah. Right? Yeah, spend the rest on a better flight, right? Whatever. It caught me out there right there. Boom. I go to check in. And you know, the people that work at Spirit are the same people that work at McDonald's. Like, they just <laughs> fucking hate their jobs. They're just, you yeah, know, ghetto, miserable. miserable. How much was the, the flight? The flight, the flight was 190 from LA to That's New York. That's cheap. That's cheap. That's it, is, it was cheap. That's why I was like, oh, cool. You know, it can't be that bad. Nah, I never really saw it. But they broke even with the bag. So it was that's like why. if you took a regular, like, American Airlines, yeah. Yeah. the yeah, flight yeah, and right. all of that is like 400 So it, it came back. out to 378 basically, with the bags. So it, it was fuck. I will never do it again. Yeah, they, yeah, they so all So I get there, and they're like, oh, you know, we can't check you in. You didn't check in yet. I'm like, OK, well, I'm here to check in. They're like, oh, yeah, no, you have to be here before an hour before your flight. What? No, listen, so they already get you there. Nobody's ever really on time. I go to JetBlue. I'm, I'm 20 minutes before my JetBlue fight. I fly, flying through security. Everything's easy. So I was like, okay. They were like, well, we can't get you on this flight. <laughs> I'm like, all right, so then let me get a refund. Let me get a credit. They're like, no, no, they can't give refunds. This, the, the ticket's non-refundable. You can't get credit. I said, when's the next flight? It was like four days after me flying out. <laughs> what? I go, okay, so you know what? Fuck it. I was like, check me in. I'll give my bags to my friends. They'll just, you know, ship it to me. And that's that. Like, I just need to get, go home. The flights out are like 500 for the next day. I was like, fuck this. And they were like, no, we already sold your ticket. Nah. Yo, so if you don't check in an hour before Spirit Airlines flight, they sell your ticket to somebody else. No way. Wow. Fuck yes. That's fire, though. Scumbag. 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 Yo, Spirit. 
But I, I never, that. I, I never, I never, yeah, Gosh. scam. I mean, scammers be scamming. I will never yeah. fly spirit. I never do, never did, and never will I again. The Try, shooting, I never yo. did, actually, because I, I never got on the, the flight. Shooting, yo, a hundred, uh, they sell, an uh, hour before, an and hour, they sell your shit. And they sell your fucking Bro, you know how many times I'm fucking super late and show up? That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> <laughs> they did a frailty. That was your first one or second? Oh, what, scumbag? Can yeah. I tell you my second one? My of second one. You can. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> my second one is uh, that guy, um, the Nickelodeon people, Dan Schneider, <laughs> all those. Nah, that ass. They fucked up all these little kids, Amanda Bynes, Drake Bell. They just, you know, just basically molesting all you these know kids. What I, I, Nickelodeon didn't keep it a safe environment for these kids, and I think that facts. the main guy, Dan Schneider, the producer of all those shows, he should go to he's prison. He's a scumbag. I watched, he should go to prison. I watched, Double dead. I watched a little of it. I watched a little of it. Um, and we here are t- one billion percent against anything against the child. You should be absolutely put under the jail facts. and executed. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But on that thing, on that 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 uh, documentary, what I did see is just like, I'm not taking any way, shape, or form sides with Nickelodeon, but a lot of this shit before they got to the molestation shit, it was just like disgruntled employees told him, oh, I didn't like the way he worked. I was just like, you're not even saying no scandalous shit. You're just saying you didn't like, like adults. They had other adults. Yeah, this guy was always an asshole. Any job you go to, you're going to find people that like you and don't like you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stick me. to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, what, that's one thing they, they don't they have on it. him specifically. They stretched it. <clears throat> yeah. Like they they stretched four it. episodes. The they real meat and potatoes, pause, was, was like two episodes. You could have yeah. knocked that shit out of two. Yeah. So a lot of the shit, I'm like, this ain't even like nothing crazy. Like, get the mm-hmm. fuck out of here. Then yeah. they got to your man Drake. I, see, yeah. I was already old at that time. Yeah. So I didn't get into that. All that was like the last of me watching Nickelodeon. Yeah. I never really fucked with that. Yeah, because yeah, he was already was... fucking 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> he watched Nick at night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, scumbag. 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 What you got? The police department over there. Remember when we, we left the club Friday, I dropped positive. In Staten Island? Nine. Nah, where I live in Williamsburg, I can't stand that shit over there. I dropped Paz off, so you know it's 3 in the morning, ain't no parking. So you know, like they got the white lines, people, you ain't supposed to park there, but they do. So they got all the school buses on the street where the regular parking supposed to be. So I said, damn, it ain't no parking. I'm tired, I'ma park where the shit that says, you know, I park, I come downstairs the next day, two tickets on my shit. Nice. One for no standing and then one, cause you know when you buy the shit for the car to put it in the window, it was blocking my vent. And they gave me a ticket for that, so damn. I-, I so I go to all the cars that's parked in the same shit like mine. I'm like, he ain't got no ticket. Pull out my phone, take a picture. I go near the Johnny Pump. He ain't got no ticket. I want to know why you just picked me out out of anybody and none of these cars got they ticket ran but your me. Plate and they saw your last name was like, yeah. Yeah, they said, yeah. yeah, he ain't Jewish. Get him. <laughs> Get that's him. how I'm looking at it. So when I told, I'm, yeah. a, I'm about to send them, I'm about to send it to them in the mail. I'm about yeah, to, what you call it? I'm about to tell them, y'all, I wanna, I want this hearing done, but I want to be present. And I want yeah. the cop to come. Mm-hmm. And I want to, I want this investigated because I'm tired of paying all these tickets and all these people doing the same shit I'm doing and they ain't getting the same. Now we have fun though. Damn. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I had fun. Yeah, I was still fun. happy we yeah, had now, fun. Friday, Friday, shouts to Max. Yeah, shout out Max. That Max was a good time. Max threw a fire party in Staten Island. Um, Max. R&B Fridays. R&B something. Fridays, bro. Max got this spot in Staten Island. I haven't been there a lot, but every time I've been there, the Latin party grows. has been motherfucking Groove. fire. Latin Grove. Yeah. <laughs> Groove. And you be like, it's Staten Island. What the f- ain't no popping. Yo. Staten- nah, that shit was all right, yo. Yo, one yeah, thing I learned right. about that is Staten Island people are ratchet as fuck. Yeah, they like to party too. Yo, they like to party. Yeah, right. they, 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 they have bitches in the club with like no the socks on and Jordans. <laughs> they got all types of hood rats. It had oh, chicks singing yeah, in the, the hood, phone, that type of shit. Yeah, the hood rap was shit. on my body, but I did. Yo, let me take a. Oh, 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 shit, oh. he wowed. He tried to drive away with a thing on his tire. Oh. Yo, he better not hit my fucking car. Oh, shit. Oh. Yo. Oh. Oh. Man We're live on, on the set of a live reporting accident. This is I fuckness news. You know what I'm saying? Homie yeah. just fucking drove down two blocks, swerving, 
came to a crash. Good thing I didn't park there because he would have had a crash and multiple contusions to his fucking skull. <laughs> Back to the pod. What did you just see, sir? Saw some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Susan. <laughs> Yo, that's a regular day in Coney Island. Outside with Gorilla Nim. Yeah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? You got any good movies you seen this week? <laughs> I saw the um the Mike F special. Cause you told me to see it and shit. That shit was alright. I seen that shit too. That shit was alright. He talked about he was doing cocaine and all of that. Yeah, he said a couple of the same jokes over Yo, again. That, no, that is He's when a, I turned he it off. He had me laughing. Now, Mike Epps will always make Mike me laugh. Mike Epps, I love him. Mike Epps, I I love all his specials. Me too. This one, he said the same shit about the 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 cheating when the girl throws the phone at you. Can't. I was like, yo, this is from like two specials ago, bro. Yeah, How are you telling these same jokes? Recycling jokes is no bueno. But on his own special, like it's crazy. But uh, yeah, that's when I turned it off. Yeah, I was but like, he, he, he had me cracking up. Always, he always yeah, had me he cracking had me up. Laughing. Yeah. So that, that's my movie this week. What's it called? It said Mike Epps something. I bet. Now Mike mine's... Epps, Mike Epps something. <laughs> my shit is... um. A most violent year. I don't know who's in it. It's the guy from uh, that's Moon Knight on the the Marvel oh, character him, Moon yes. Knight. He uh, is in the shit. It's called the most violent year. The movie's good, but it's also it's shows box. like vintage '80s New York, and it was fuck. It's just super dope. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I fucked with that. What was, what was it? What about? was it about? It's called a most violent year. It's about somebody that owns like an oil company that. The mob is trying to move in on or trying to buy him out or it's just a dope movie. I enjoyed that's not, it. That's not a good explanation. I don't give a fuck if it's a good explanation. <laughs> go watch I'm it. I'm not a good explainer. Go fucking watch it. I just told you the fucking movie. Now go fucking watch it. You want me to explain the every yeah. intricacies no, yeah. of it? Yeah. No, you don't want me to tell you how it ended? He wants no, to direct it to no no spoiler. Yeah. Yeah. A beginning, you want a, a, a synopsis? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a watch good fucking it. He tells movie. you everything. You ain't going to watch it. Go fucking watch it. Yo, yo, where you going, bro? Come here. My God, a hangover monkey. <laughs> so, talk to the people, man. Son, take over the game, bro. Just yeah, you know, just spit some balls. Hold on, hold on. Yo, if y'all stop it. That's the camera right there, he bro. He started hangover one, two, and three. It's the little fucking hangover monkey. <laughs> spit some balls. I yeah. got balls and shit. I play around with this shit, freestyle yeah, shit. Yeah, he don't even take it serious. He's still nice in the yard. Yeah, he play around. <laughs> he play around with this shit. I'm playing around with this shit. You want this shit? Yeah. yeah. You got paid for this shit. Facts. It ain't free. You know that. I'm laughing at this shit. Facts. Look I don't write that. this shit. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Coin on shit. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, now. Stop playing TLG Frisco. We on this shit. We on this yeah. shit. Brooklyn shit. Fuck this shit. Hold on, he said fuck this shit. We on this shit. We on this oh, shit. On this fuck shit. the government and shit. Oh. I'm off oh. this shit. Oh. <laughs> Take the mic and stick. Get the mic go oh. wild. Stop so playing with this shit. Take the mic for me. Yeah, that mic like Boy, a regular mic. Boy, crazy as shit. Going crazy. Yeah, going my crazy boy. type uh, shit. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just so <laughs> shit. I'm laughing as shit. Hey! Fuck the mic and shit. I'm pissed this shit. I'm laughing at this shit. You see now? Mm -hmm. Run, boom, bop, shit. Mm -hmm. Run, boom, bop, shit. Oh, shit. I'm going wild. Shit. Run, boom, bop, shit. Hey. <laughs> He drooling his shit. He drooling his shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Hey. Regular Coney Island shit, you heard? Yeah. Yo, you so, seen so much it? What's your new movie and time? shit? <laughs> What's your movie and Yo, shit? Yo, I'm just embracing everything that just happened right now. And shit? Fuck, and shit. You know that? And shit. Yo, my movie of the week is... You gotta say and shit after everything. And shit. My movie and shit of the week is... Poor Things with Emma Stone. Have y'all seen it? All right. Good. I haven't seen that shit. Let me shit. tell you. I'm going to give you. That. Explain that shit. <laughs> I'm going to explain <laughs> that shit. So basically, first off, she's fucking throughout that whole movie. Emma, they show Emma Stone, everything. Yeah? No. She's just... What's the name of it? <laughs> he's yeah, watching see, that shit I, tonight. See, look, I, I knew I would get your attention. <laughs> Yo, Nip said, I'm watching that shit um, tonight. It's called. <laughs> it's called Poor Things. But the. The movie is fire. I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 for sure. No way. 
Yo, it's it's different. It's fire. It's the, one of the best movies I've seen. In the What's movie. it on Netflix? Netflix? What's it about? No, it's on it's on a free. Uh, it's on Hulu for free. It's called Poor Things. Emma Stone. It got commercials. Uh, mm. no, no, uh, no. Ooh. I mean, depending on how much you pay on Hulu, but yeah, that shit is nah. free. But no, that shit no, no. Is free. You know, it was fire. It's so good. That's, that's Basically, ba so what happens yeah, is it's like yeah. almost like kind of like not Bride of Frankenstein, but Willem Dafoe, who plays, you know, the guy from Spider-Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the craziest face looking yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking love I've it. seen him recently. His teeth starting to even get. Yo, nah, yeah, he looked crazy. Him, bump. He looked like a bum. They showed him in my hand. They won best, he best makeup for, mm -hmm. for his face in that movie. But basically he like, he's like a mad, he's a mad scientist. He's a mad scientist, and this girl, you know, basically she, Emma Stone, she had tried to kill herself. He saved her, but she was brain dead, so he, but she was pregnant too. So the baby was still alive. He took her brain out, Emma Stone's brain out, put the baby's brain. So now Emma Stone is walking around with like a baby brain and le relearning everything. So she goes from that's like, fire. you know, it's crazy. All right, don't tell us. All right, and that's it. That and that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. But at one point, she's yeah, just, she's she's fucking. just fucking. Yeah, but how? <laughs> because Who she cares? learned. Watch the fucking movie, bro. Da -da. No, because yeah. at one point, yeah. think about it. When you, when you first found your little baby thaws and shit, you couldn't stop touching and playing. So basically, the same thing with her. She just stopped. Stop. Stop. She said you got a little webito. Yeah, she said little, you did Yeah, little webito. <laughs> like when you first touch a little baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, all right, live action. What you got? Um, I, I ain't get to finish it though. I got a little bit left for the Shirley Chisholm um documentary. Who's Shirley Chisholm? She ran for president, the first female African lady that ran for president. She lived in Brooklyn. Also, oh, she Damn. was a teacher. What's it called? I think it's the Shirley Chisholm documentary. It's on what? Netflix. I'm gonna check that out. It's like real good, like man, because um, you see how politicians and how the government operates from even back in the 70s till now, how crooked they still are. Yeah, you know what was a good things. show, man, about politicians that changed my view of politicians? Too bad Kevin Spacey fucking <laughs> oh, that was a good became show. a fucking yeah. Me Too. You know what Facts. I'm saying? With little boys that fucking dribble. House of Cards. House, House of Cards, Cards was a fucking A1 show, bro. That shit was, it made me... I'll be, cause it wasn't too far fetched that, that to be like, yo, politicians definitely do this shit that, yeah. that, that they're showing, and yo, you do me a favor, or you do this. Yeah, yo, you that's, how this, this that's, that's how that's how you gonna see the Shirley Chisholm shit. They're super corrupt. You gonna see like a, a like a, a, a governor or a mayor from Washington's gonna call her into the office and tell her like, yo, drop out of the race, and then she was like, well, who's gonna run then? He was like, I am, <laughs> and she was like, you tripping? And he was like, listen, if you do that and I get elected, I'll give you all my delegates. Like, you know, for her to drop out, he's swapping. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, damn, this shit is all a scam. Yeah, facts. Then, yeah. like, because her, her, she wasn't really high in the polls, so they try to, like, just knock her off for, the, for them doing her on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me take your people. Yeah, it's, it's so she just was dog. like, they it was like, care. yo, you not in it on live TV. It was like the other ones. She was like, you know what? Sue them. So she sued them and shit, and she won, she won the lawsuit. So they had to put her, like, give her her own personal time on TV or why she's a good candidate for being a president and all of that. She was crazy. Then they had her, she, she, need, she needed California because she was really down on, you know, they wasn't trying to, you know, that was racist times. They didn't want to hear nothing about no, so she, she said if she could get California to be a good look for her. So the only way she could get California if she had somebody to back her over check there. That shit out. That and shit it was uh, Huey, mad good. Huey P. Newton and the Black Panther Party. Wait, what year? What year? What? Uh, this shit was in like the 70s. it was in 70s? the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, facts. That's why yeah. I never even heard of her. That's, yeah, that's why that's they that's got now like Shirley Chisholm Park right yeah, there, like as soon as you go on exit on Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue, the next exit. Yeah. It's Shirley Chisholm Park. That whole shit that they had back there is all that's Shirley where Chisholm I know, Park. That's why I know that name from. What about uh? Even on on Bismarcky when he said Reagan was the press, but I voted for Shirley Chisholm. That's that old school shit. Yeah. <laughs> Useless facts with Pasquale Diaz. Man. Cause yo, all the time we hang out, he has mad useless information that will never be needed. That he just fucking mm. always spats out at random moments. Yeah. What useless information so you got for the pod that. today? Uh, the perfect human being. Oh. It's the truth though, Google it. Yeah, go Google yeah. the perfect human being. Google it right now. Google it. Googly moogly. Googly moogly. Wait, 
Let me take this off. Shout out to Puerto the Ricans. Yeah. G on the back of the Shout phone. Shout out to fucking psychopaths with no cases on their phone. No, I got a case. <laughs> yeah, but the front, that's crazy. I'll go, I'll go nuts. What am I, I Googling? The perfect, the perfect human, human being. being. The perfect human being. So that's that. The close, a Puerto Rican. Yeah, <laughs> tap it up. Tap let's it go, up for my go. useless information. Right here. You're never going to need that, but it makes me Puerto feel Rican. good. Every time I say Google that shit. Now, <laughs> I knew that. next Why topic. I, I like that. We got useless information with Paz. You see the dreadlocks. You see the fit. Every week, there's some hype beast shit going on. Oh so let's gosh. get into hype beast shit with CB. CB. Where, you're gonna, where she's going to put the people on to shit you didn't know about. And you probably don't need to know about, <laughs> but it's what her people are her raving people. raving about. My What's people. people. What is my people? Native lesbian vegans. There we go. Bike riders. Bike, Bike riders. riders. Yeah, yeah, Annoying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, 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 no, nah, nah, um, nah, nah. so my hype shit for the week is we got Tyler the Creator who just dropped his collab with Louis Vuitton. Okay. The spring summer. Is it fire? It is fire. It is fire. Of course she's gonna that. say it is. They, got, me- they got metal boots or some no, shit. No, no that's well, Balenciaga. No, oh, so spikes. He, no, no. <laughs> he basically like. He kind of just did it like kind of basically you see how Tyler the Creator he's like very like skateboard you know skateboarder yeah. type feel but mixing it with you know high end fashion and I think that the line is dope I like I liked it better than Pharrell's drop did you like the Pharrell I like the Tim's yeah. yeah I mean like, how much how, you know how much those, that's a lot of no, money no no the the actual monogram Pharrell ones you know how much those are how gonna much? be seventy five thousand what do you mean the monogram I don't ones? know what that is. The ones, the monogram, so basically like the Louis Vuitton, um, the monogram, like the, the LV, the LV, the LV, that's, yeah, you know, yeah. the, there's the brown ones, and then they have the other ones that have it on the tongue. You saw those, The tongue right? ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 75 fucking K. Nah. Yes, look it up. Nah, they I would never. You wouldn't? Nah. Never. Would you? Well, even if I was a billionaire, I wouldn't spend. That's, I mean, that's homie, my limit on so, sneakers is nah, a buck. I, I'll spend. I'll spend, no problem. <laughs> Caballero! Caballero! <laughs> Yeah, nah, I don't um I don't mind dropping a bag on sneakers or something I like. But seventy five for just writing Louis V on the tongue. As a, a, as a New Yorker though, do you fuck with and that? And what if what you gonna do if somebody scuffs your shit the first wear? You gotta slap him right there. Look. Yeah, man. Hello. Come. Hello. Give it drip a mic. Check, drip check, drip check. Drip check. Who, what are you wearing today? What are you wearing? Wait, 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 take the microphone. Who styled you today? I am wearing chinchilla. She wearing purple bellies. chinchilla. <laughs> Don't say Vera Wang again. Blue magic, purple chinchilla and blue magic. Who styled you besides Vera Wang? I got styled by Horace. Horace? Yes. And where, where, where's that dress come from? And Swanson. Excuse me? Where did you get that dress? That's a nice dress. Who styled that? That dress is from... Put the mic up. Talk to the mic. My dress is from... Burlington. <laughs> From Marshall. Mexico. Mexico? Guad- Where's the Mexico bag? Mexico Guatemala. The bag? Gucci? Louis My daddy bear from Australia. Is that Polo? She said that shit come from Australia. Polo. That's a koala bear bag. Yeah. yeah. I'm not right. chill. That's a koala bag. Give the mic back. That's Ted. Yeah, yeah. yeah she done put her Thank residue you. all over the mic, Bob. Go sanitize that shit. Come back. I'm going to give you, uh, I don't know, whatever I got on me. <laughs> I'll give you my word, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good, good day. day. Good day. Bye, Bye my love. Good day. So, real, so really quick to like artists, right? So music artists collaborating with high-end fashion. Nems, you're in a spot where you can most likely eventually uh, pick someone, high-end brand. Which one would you collaborate with? Would or I collaborate you, with? Because I know you don't really fuck with too much high-end brands. You have your certain ones, but is there a particular one that you would like to collaborate uh, with? I like... um. Balenciaga, Balenci, no, Balenci, nah, they had that little, that little uh, scandal. Yeah. Kith. I mean, the Kith, Kith is, scandal. If, listen, speaking of Kith, I, like yeah, I would Kith. collab Kith? with Kith. I love, I love Kith. But I fuck Kith, with Kith, Ronnie Fig, shouts to my guy. He does everything right. As a, as a, a brand owner, the yeah. things that I see him do. It's like it's what I aspire to be. Wow, that's fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All his collabs is fire. Even if they don't make sense, like, yo, he did a collab with Chips Ahoy, 
It's fire though. He sent me the. I got the shit in my crib. Yeah. Every collab he does, he does it right. It's different. Too. The stores he opens, he opens in the right places. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yo, he does everything right, man. So Kith is like one of my favorite brands. You know what I'm saying? But I wear my yeah. own shit all the time. I fuck with Kith. F Y L. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Kith, super fire. Louis V, nah, Gucci, nah, Versace. Versace's owned by somebody else now. Like yeah, a lower end. Sold it. Yeah, it's owned by like I don't know. No, not not a high end fashion brand. You can still bring well, it back like Well, that makes sense. Biggie. I just saw that they're having a sample sale and that would have been Well, Versace? Sense. Yeah, like yeah. in like two Versace, Versace. More days in Manhattan. Speaking of high, of high end stuff, colognes of the week. What are you I'm wearing? I'm wearing the uh, Azaro. I thought it was Chrome Azaro, but there's a different kind of a uh, name to it. I don't know what name it is, but it's fire, it smells good. So it's called the Zaro? Yeah. How much? A 220 or something. Okay, that's, that's respectable. What, what, what you fucking with recently? But I don't care if it was $10, I like that shit. Yeah, we didn't ask you that. I just asked you the price. You asked you the price. Yeah, I that's it. About the fucking price. <laughs> My shit is so watered down. <laughs> yeah, what you got? I got the, uh, today, I feel like it's a basic bitch uh, smell. I feel like every girl has this, but it's so classic, the Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat. Baccarat. I got Baccarat uh, hand sanitizer that smells yeah. like Baccarat. Fire. That shit is fire. I also have like a linen spray too. That's like, I just want to just be dripped in Baccarat. Facts. What about you? Live action? I'll call 350 I down, for the bottle, 350? Right there we go. down Versace I had bought, man. They caught me. You know, watered down? It, yeah, good, shit is all, is all. Why is it, it watered down? Good. It smelled good right away. and then it just Yeah, it, like it two gone. seconds later, because the dude was selling them and he was like, yo. Oh, you got the like, fake one. Yeah, yeah. he hit me with the machachi. Ain't nothing, wrong, ain't nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you get caught out there. Yeah, he caught me with the any, any cologne, even the fake is better than the oils. I hate those oils. Mine's is uh, I got this joint off today. The the house is called Kajal, K A J A L. Um, I didn't know about it. Shouts to my man Bones Brigante. He got a a dope podcast just on scents and colognes and perfume. And this house that he put me on is Kajal, K-A-J-A-L. Is it Arabic? The bottles look Arabic, yeah. and there's numerous fragrances. I'm not going to tell you which one I'm wearing, because that's my favorite cologne right now. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to tell you which ones is which. Where is it from? But I don't know where it's from. I just know I went on the website. He put he When I did his podcast, he, he, he let me smell. I was like, yo, this is fire, and it's my favorite joint. But they have numerous ones. I bought numerous ones, but this one that I'm wearing today, it's like they have... They have, so why uh, have this fucking segment if you're not going to tell them what you're Because I'm telling you the, the, the dope cologne house that it comes from. You can choose which one you want to. Go get yourself a fucking sample set <laughs> no, and he figure out what name. set works yeah. for you the best. All he right? He probably don't know the name. Yeah. Yo, the know name is probably wearing, in Arabic. I'm telling you what I'm wearing. Kajal. That's what I'm yeah, wearing. Yeah, he said Kajal. $300 a bottle. There yeah, you go. fuck Kajal. Yeah, there you go. Fuck out of here. Azara. You wear average people's shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I wear shit you they wear don't shit know that about. you don't even know. Exactly. So nobody stupid. else smells like me. That's fucking sperm. That's why you got from, fucking from red East. shit all over your fucking yeah, head. Yeah, because you got a tight ass hat I bought from you. The fuck out of here. Yo, I just wear all in deodorant. That shit looks fucking dirty. Y'all only put deodorant. That's it. Yeah, I smell unique. A jaw. Ajax, nigga. You wear Ajax. You wearing Ajax, the fuck out of here, it's blue. Damn. Bro, you wearing fucking fake Michael Jordan pants, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I told you that joke. You got that fucking from Mexico. Get out of here. These are real. Yeah, man. Yo! Who is that? Can you bring him over here? Nah, nah, hell hell no. We don't fuck with him. him. Wait, you guys hate him? Nah, we don't fuck with him. That ass. Before, 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 I'm always behind. Before he blew up, I hated him. Yeah, facts. And then he blew up, and you I hated him. Don't even say his name. He's mad annoying. You don't hold. Doing? Listen, where once you go bad, come bad. There's no coming back from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how it goes in my world is once you move to the left and once you go off, off, off course, you show who you really are. And once you show who you really are, stay who you really are, bro. There ain't no coming back. Once you're excommunicated and exiled, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? So just stay over there. And that's my NEMS gems of the week, man. NEMS you gems. Stand on you on your word. You know what I'm saying? When, when you say something, you know how Scarface says, all I got in this world is my, my, my balls and my word? A lot of people don't stand on their word. And I've, I've made it a point. So when I say I'm going to do something, to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real easy to say you're going to do something. And never do it. And then feel yeah. like, eh, 
I nah, do I don't got to do it now. Something's going to change. Or your, your feelings change, your attitude change. So I've made it a point in my life that when I give someone my word, whether it be, yo, I'm coming through, or I'm going to give you this, or I'm going to pay you this, you know, um, I stick to my word. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's simple what it is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't, and they, they don't take it that seriously. To give somebody your word is your bond. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say word is bond. Um, so I just, that's my gem. You say you're going to do something, do yeah. it. Whether it's Facts. be to other people or whether it be to yourself. I was going to say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stick you to your tell, word. Tell yourself yeah. something. Yeah. Simple as it. that. If you say you ain't going to fuck with somebody, don't fuck with them. If you say you're going to give somebody another chance, give them another chance and don't hold the past against them. Or if you say, you know, a lot of times dealing with, with the merch and dealing with business, it's like, all right, I'm going to pay you this amount. Then it happens. It's not up to your standards or what you thought was gonna happen. Nah, I don't, I'm not gonna pay it. Nah, you gave them your word. So stick to your word, you know what I'm saying? And that's why uh, a lot of people need uh, contracts and this and that. I'm not saying contracts are bad. I'm just, just using that for an example. I don't need contracts because I stick to my word. A lot of people don't, so you do need contracts. You know what I'm saying? But in general, not, this is not just for that. Stick to your word. Say what you mean, mean what you say. And uh, you'll be respected for that. And, uh, you know, it That's is That's a good way is. to live, too. Just live like that. Absolutely. Facts. And, uh, and don't be scared to give. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to give. When you tip well, when you take care of people that do the right thing by you, it always comes back for you. It always comes back to you. You always get what you put out. You know out. what I'm saying? Give the person on the, on the, on the corner a dollar. Give them, if, if you can. If you can't, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I recently... Did my shahada, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations! And in the Muslim community, one of the first things I learned um, is that one good deed takes away ten sins. You know what I'm saying? That's bad. but in the month of Ramadan, yeah. one good deed takes away nine, either ninety nine or a hundred sins, or ten. No, no, ten times that, so a hundred sins. One good deed. Yo, we doing something here, homie. Hey, get the fuck out of here. Look, see? Now I got to do a good deed to take away from that. See how easily it could be taken out? But listen, nobody <laughs> in this world is perfect. Like bleach. You know what nah, I'm saying? So, ten times. Nobody in this world is perfect, so, you know, it is Speak what it is. Yourself. But uh, yeah. we outside, as usual. We back to normal. And uh, that's been out. And you want to leave the people with any last words? Yes, I am 86 days sober. Clap it up speaking for that. Of speaking, speaking of you know, sticking to, yeah, fact. Sticking to like, your year. word, I told yeah. myself, and mm. I mm. haven't picked up not even a sip, not even, oh, let me just try a little oh, bit. Oh, you little. ain't smoke no weed or nothing? No, weed. Oh, weed, 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 weed. oh, oh, I'm about to go oh, right now. Oh, sober, California All right, sober. all right, all right. All right. We right. gotta, you got progress. Okay, okay, this is okay. progress. Yeah, 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 clap it up, clap it up, yo. We got progress on the weed, floor. Weed That's is good. good. I'm gonna keep smoking weed. But drinks, we taking a little break. 85, 86 days, we good. You're taking a break? You're gonna go back to drinking? I don't think so right now because I have 86. Shouldn't don't put Why that in I... your mind. Don't put that in your mind, I don't put it break. in my mind. I you just did. said a little Say break. Say you quit. No, I, I basically went into it with like no expectation because I feel like if I set a date or I'm gonna be uh, you know, sober for this, to this deadline, of time, yeah, yeah, yeah you I didn't might set relax. nothing. I just That's said, good. boom, let me just keep going and I'm still yeah. going. You're doing good. There it you. is. Don't there let you nobody influence. You leave anybody with any words? Yeah, bud? be on time. Like I hate people that you say you'd be there at nine, and I get there eight forty-five because I'm an old head. Facts. And they don't get there till nine forty-five. It's like, why are you tell me to be there at nine? But I'm not a little kid. So stick to what time you gotta be somewhere, and it's professional to do that. Were you on time today, Paz? Nah, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready though. And with that, we out of here. We out of here. Scumbag! Scumbag! What conspiracy now? theories you got, Hubert? Let me get that. Yo, so you, you say um, you turn Muslim? Yeah. That's fire. Yup. What fucking made you do that? That man position, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me let me mansplain something that to you real quick. nothing can be told to you. Man, He's already man. in fucking Austria. <laughs> and they pulled out a fucking hook. Like, bro, what you hooking oh, on here? Because the car probably got, got stuck on the dude's pumper. What's the oldest you'll go? Yeah. What's the most vintage vagina you'd rock? So, Police came so down, now, literally like two hours ago. Yo, that shit happened yeah. four hours ago, officer. So where you was at? Oh, chill, chill, bro. Yo, Nems, rap shit. Yo.
Kendrick Cole Drake. You know what it is? It's that everybody's too friendly now, bro. Um, so we getting the fuck out of here. Yo, Patreon, keep subscribing. Ooh, ooh. 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 Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy, don't ever disrespect me.